There was a young lady from Chicago, Illinois, 15 years old. She attend, attended the university um, prep school in Chicago. She was an honor student and a majorette, and she marched in the inaugural parade last week here in Chicago. It was a highlight of her young 15-year-old life. Yesterday, in a rainstorm after school, she raced to a shelter. A gunman came in and shot her dead. Just a matter of days after the happiest day of her life, she's gone. A lot has been said about the city of Chicago, and I want to say a few words, too. Our biggest problem in Chicago, according to Superintendent McCarthy, who came to Chicago from New York, we are awash in guns. The confiscation of guns per capita in Chicago is six times the number of New York City. We have guns everywhere, and some believe the solution to this is more guns. I disagree. When you take a look at where these guns come from, 25% plus are sold in the surrounding towns around the city of Chicago, not in the city. And you look over the last 10 or 12 years, of the 50,000 guns confiscated in crimes, almost one out of 10 crime guns in Chicago came to that city from Mississippi. Mississippi, why? Because the background checks there, the gun dealers there, are a lot easier than they are in other places. And they end up selling these guns in volume, and they come up the interstate and kill wantonly on the way. Here's the basics. I think we all agree, I hope we all agree, that the Supreme Court decision in Heller said we can have reasonable limitations on a Second Amendment right in terms of the type of weapon or the people who own them and the background checks on those people. It's something we desperately need to do. But we know now that 40% of the sales are not going through the background checks. That's a huge problem. It's created this abundance of weapons that are available. And the straw purchasers, I salute the chairman for addressing this issue on straw purchasers. It's one of the worst situations in our state and in the city of Chicago. I can point to one gun store, one gun store in Riverdale, Illinois, that accounts for more than 20% of the crime guns in Chicago. Straw purchasers buy the guns there, and they end up in the hands of criminals in the city of Chicago. We've got to put an end to this.